guys welcome back to my channel for those of you who are new here please like subscribe and share my video um my name is alondra or alo whatever you want to call me and i'm so glad that you're here and i hope that you enjoy this video i'm gonna be getting ready with you guys so let's get into it what are you looking at girl it's just a baby. bro this is how to get ready okay if you're a mom you understand probably that that's just how you have to get ready is with your child on your lap. She was freaking out. She was literally just crying for no freaking reason. Look at her. Now she's all fine. Like she's with mama and she's all good. But anyways, I use this um, Remington straightener. It's like a one and three fourths flat iron. I don't know, girl. I don't know how to say fractions and numbers and three fourths and one and a half. And you know, I don't know how to say that, okay? and i'm not good with math or numbers so don't judge me but yeah i did my hair and this is what the straightener looks like i forgot mine in north carolina at my mom's house and i have this other one it's like a one inch straightener but it fucking sucks it doesn't like the heat i feel like i can't control the heat it's like programmed already or i don't know and it just sucks and i have a lot of hair and with this child right here of mine I need to get things done like fast, pronto, you know. So yeah, I did my hair with that, and yeah, I think it look. I mean, I think it looks pretty good. It looks shiny and healthy or whatever. Like interest, stiff wear, honey, stiff fucking wear, you know. Um, but yeah. So now I'm gonna do my makeup, and y'all will get to see that. I don't mind the mess. Like, please don't mind the mess. Okay, I'm fucking trying here. I'm fucking trying. But yeah, I'm gonna show you how I do my makeup if she lets me and we'll see y'all in a bit, okay? So yeah, I just wanted to get ready with you guys today. I'm not gonna be doing anything. I'm just probably gonna film a few TikToks, maybe take some pictures later when my husband gets home. I'll ask him to take some pictures of me and post them on Instagram. Um, and I wanna film another YouTube video later. Probably I'll upload it later in the week or probably next week. I'm trying to upload like twice a week, but I have a baby and it's so hard and right now she's sleeping so that's why I'm like trying to mm. but yeah let me know down below in the comments um if you guys want me to do like an outfits video because I know like you know summer's approaching and hot girl hot girl summer hot mom summer all my mamas all my single ladies out there all my hot girls you know this video is for whoever you know I'm married now I have a child but you know I have my fun or whatever so I want to show y'all a little outfit and, you know, whatever. But yeah, so let's get into the video. Um, By the way, I'm not going to do like a tutorial or anything because I'm not like a makeup artist. I just do my makeup for fun. I actually learned doing like how to do my makeup watching YouTube videos. I think the first one I ever watched was Jaclyn Hill, like super old video. Um, And yeah anyways i'm just fucking talking now so let's get into the video like i said it's not gonna be a tutorial it's just gonna be some quick let's talk and let's get ready with each other okay like a little facetime call but it's gonna be a long ass facetime call okay all right all right guys i'm back it took me forever to get these lashes on and then i'm also messing with like my lighting i'm sorry if it sucks okay i'm promise my videos will get better but right now this is what we're working with and then it's gonna start raining here shortly so it got like really gloomy i'm sitting next to this big window we have and usually there's really good lighting but right now it's gonna rain i do have to cut these down a little bit because they're like the lash band was too um too like long in the inner corners no les pasa que son peludas porque yo si no no quitar mi bigotito before I do my um before I do my foundation. Why why? Like por qué tenemos que tener pelo? Like no la like no la cabeza sino en like el cuerpo, you know? Like por qué tengo que tener bigote? Yo no soy hombre. A um, veces si sí hablo como hombre, pero tampoco, o sea, a lo mejor no tengo una cara cuerpazo y unas you know, but no soy hombre, oiga, no me confunda, no me confunda, nomás tengo bigote, pero eso es normal, ok, yo sé que ustedes, hay algunas de ustedes que también son bigotonas, pero it's ok, mira un rastrillito y chuchu chuchu chuchu, 
hairless baby hairless oh my god i also scheduled oh my god okay these lashes i think it's this side just bother me a little bit i scheduled my first i know i'm probably like super late on this but i scheduled my first um bikini wax brazilian i just scheduled it with european wax center i've scheduled one before but i canceled it because i pussied out to be honest like i was freaking freaking out and i actually just did it myself um it hurt it hurts really bad so i think if you go to somebody they have the courage to freaking you know hurt like not hurt you but like rip the freaking band-aid off you know and me i took forever and it hurt so bad i remember but I was pretty smooth for a couple of weeks, and mind you, I'm like, so bien peluda. Like, I don't know if you can tell. Like, my arms are peludas. My hair, literally, I'll shave it tonight, and by like one in the morning, ya está todo peludo otra vez. And I'm just like, hello, like, why? ¿Por qué tengo que ser peluda, you know? And my pores on my legs, I feel like they're huge. I don't know why. I literally me pongo lotion, me pongo aceite. Like, I take care of my skin, you know? I know there's people that never use lotion. Like, my husband, he never uses lotion like, ever in his life. And his skin is so soft. And I'm just like, oh my god, no, I feel like my... I don't have dry skin. I have, like, super oily skin. But, if, like, I don't use lotion. Like, it feels so dry. But, um, by the way, I'm just using the Fit Me foundation. I always use it. It's like the only foundation that keeps me matte. Mind you, I will not. I'm not the kind of girl that will spend like big money on makeup. Girl, I get my makeup from Walmart, from Target, from a drugstore. Drugstore makeup all the way. That's what works for me. And I've tried high-end ma makeup before and I just did not like how it looked. I didn't like how it wore and it's just not the vibe, you know? By the way, I'm peeling. I never wear sunscreen. I know it's bad. I know it's bad, but but yeah, like I was saying, sorry, I had to like this is taking forever. Um, what's it called? What was I saying? Oh yeah, like I know it's super bad not to wear sunscreen, but I don't know. I just don't. I don't really go outside like that. But when I do, I don't like to really wear it. Maybe sometimes on my face, but not even. And most of the time when I go to the beach, I'm like under the tent. And somebody asked me like how I get ready while I, since I have a daughter, like how do I manage to get ready? First of all, I don't get ready every day. Second of all, when I do get ready, it's usually on the weekends and my husband's here. So, you know, he kind of watches her while I get ready. And I actually get ready super quick. Like I can do a full face of makeup super quick, especially if I'm not like talking or anything. And, um... That's my friends, like, that's my friends. People that have gotten ready with me, they know I'm, like, the first one to be ready. I don't know, I just... I don't know, I just get ready super quick, I guess. Um, my daughter's awake. Let me go bring her. You guys might hear her in the back, but... But, yeah, like, I get ready super quick, so... That's probably why, too. But if, um... Like, right now that she's awake, I usually put her down on, like, her little play mat or I have, like, her little swing next to me. That way she, she likes seeing what I'm doing. She doesn't like me, like, roaming around and, like, not being able to see what I'm doing. But, yeah, so most of the time I just set her down and, like, you know, kind of just sit there and try to get ready while she's not crying, you know? But, yeah, let me go bring her. Here is the culprit of all the noise of mommy not being able to get ready. Here she is. Bro, she looks just like her dad. By the way, look at her hair. I had made like chonguitos on her and I had put bows and she looked all cute. She had pants on, she had socks on. But, but she had like a mental breakdown. For you know why? Like, I don't know. I guess she was sleeping. And I literally had to take off everything. Look at her. Now she looks like this. <laughs> but her hair is so crazy. But look, you can still see where her chonguitos were at. She has so much hair. Mind you that when I was pregnant the last month, I had her horrible, horrible heartburn. Oh my God, an acid reflux. It was the, being pregnant is hard. Everything is freaking hard. But like I said, that's a whole video in itself. But yeah. Anyways, let me go put her down and see if she'll stay. Somebody asked me how I get ready with my daughter. She's right here. Right there. That's how I get ready. While momming it up doing mom things you know 
Um, but yeah, I forgot what else I was saying. Also, somebody else, I didn't get too many questions. I got more like ideas and stuff, but one of you guys did ask me um, why we moved to Florida and how my parents felt about it. Um, if you don't know, um, my name, my name, if you don't know, um, we moved to Florida because my husband got a job here that paid more than North Carolina did. And yeah, so we moved here because he got a job, Albert here. By the way, don't move while you're pregnant. Don't move while you're pregnant. Don't freaking do it. And, um, okay, that's enough bronzer, honey. And, yeah, just don't move while you're pregnant because, like I said, I was helping him unload. I was, um, you know, unpacking. And it was so hard. It, it's it's still so hard being away from our families, you know. Our My husband's family actually just left. They were here last week, last weekend. Um, they came down. I actually drove back with them because if y'all know from my last video, I was in North Carolina and then we, I drove back with them and the baby. Um, she did pretty good. We came at night just because my cuñada, she has two kids and uh, we drove at night. That way they would sleep. Um, my baby did, mm, I don't know. I don't know if I want to do that again, okay? But I know she's small, so I can't really blame her and um but yeah she did pretty good on the plane she does really good this is the second time i fly with her i flew with her when she was two weeks uh, because we i gave birth in north carolina stayed there for a few weeks and then i came back to florida because this is where i live but yeah moving to florida we moved here because of my husband's job we've been here almost a year which is crazy i don't know when we're moving back i don't know if we are moving we know that we're moving back but I don't know when. Like, I don't know if we're going to stay here another year. I don't know. I don't know. But I'll update you guys. Um, hopefully here soon. Because our lease will be over soon too. So we have to make up our minds. And see if we're going to stay here at this apartment. Or we're going to move somewhere else. Or we're going to go back to North Carolina. Or we're moving to another state. I don't freaking know, okay? Um, we're just taking it one day at a time. Because we were stressing ourselves out. Trying to think, are we moving back? Are we staying here? Like, you know what we're doing. So... Cuando sepa, yo les dejo saber, okay? My parents, uh, if y'all know me, my mom has been a single mom all her life. I do have a dad, obviously, um, but he's not really involved in our life. And I do have a stepdad, which we love. That's Alina's abuelo. Obviously, my dad is her abuelo too, but like I said, he's not really involved, so... I don't know, it's a, it's the, I can do another video on that. But anyways, my mom's a single mom, so she's super protective over my brother and I. I only have one sibling, he's older than me. Um, my mom's super protective over us because, you know, she's had to take care of us all her life. And I understand her now, like, I could not imagine being a single mom. Like, to all my single moms out there, like, it's hard. I bet it's hard, and I've, I've seen all the stuff that my mom has to give up all the all the stuff that you know she went through plus all the other stuff i don't know you know um but yeah she's super overprotective over us like i said she's had to watch us watch us all her life um so me being her daughter i was pregnant you know i'm her only daughter she only has a son and a daughter i'm her only daughter um and growing up our relationship wasn't like super great because i was really rebellious and you know, sometimes I would listen and sometimes I wouldn't, you know, I wanted to go out and you know, she sometimes would be like, no, you can't, I wouldn't listen. I never did like bad things. This girl's always farting in our videos. Like, ma'am, I'm trying to have a conversation here with my friends and you're just farting it up over here. Like, be respectful, girly. Anyways, um, yeah, she's super overprotective, so of course she was sad, you know, I was pregnant, she wanted me to be okay, which is one of the reasons why I gave birth in North Carolina, like, I needed my mom there, and it's easier for me to fly to North Carolina and go over there than having our whole family come over here and, and, you know, be there, so that's another reason why I gave birth in North Carolina, yeah, so my mom was obviously super sad, she cried, and, Every time I leave, she cries, especially now. I do FaceTime her every single day. I try to, unless, you know, we're busy or something. 
but I do try to fix on her. Oh my god, girl. Honestly, highlight. It used to be my favorite thing, like, back in 2016. I still love it, but I just can't not highlight, you know? Like, if you're... I can't not just... And I'm an oily gal. Not, like, super oily, but I, I am oily. I don't sweat easily, by the way, unless it's hot as balls. But, yeah, I just love highlight. Just, like... I just love it, like... Especially the nose highlight. Like, yes, give it. Give it to me. Mm pound that shit on baby girl and yeah so my mom was sad and like i said i call her every day i face her every day but like of course i'm sad now that after i got married after i moved out my mom's house after i got married after i had my kid like our relationship has been so good i think it's because it is toxic some households are toxic not that my mom was toxic but we just didn't see eye to eye on a lot of different things and now i understand her you know she was single she was this, this is me and my brother are her life you know now i understand her because i'm a mom but before i didn't really understand her like before i was a mom i would be like you know when i'm a mom i'm not gonna be strict i'm gonna let my kids not do whatever but i'm not gonna be so strict oh my god my thing broke bro so now that i'm a mom i'm like uh I'm my husband all the time i'm like yeah alina can't have no boyfriend and she can't go like she is a light of my life the light of my eyes it's like la luz de mis ojos you know i don't want anything to happen to her and you know i'm taking care of her like with everything i have in me and all these all these stories out you know like that the bani i think that's her name Like, uno cuida a sus hijos con todo y les da lo mejor que, lo, like, lo mejor que les, les pueda dar, ¿verdad? Para que otra persona venga y te los mate o te los lastime. Like, I don't ever want her to be hurt. I know it's going to happen. Like, I can't control everything. But while I can, I definitely will. And I don't want to be a strict mom. I, I want, I'm not judging my mom's parenting, by the way. I just, we didn't see eye to eye on a lot of different things, and that's the reason I moved out. When I moved out, we didn't leave on bad, I didn't leave on bad terms or anything. I just moved out, and I told my mom, you know, look, I'm ready to move out, and this and that, and that's what happened. But yeah, I got, I'm sorry, I'm like all over the place with this, but I just have a lot to say. And yeah, so that's what my mom thought. Of course, she was sad, and of course, it's really hard being away from our families, um you know we have a new baby you know they don't get to see everything every little thing about her um on, only on like facetime calls and stuff so it, it definitely sucks but like i said we don't know what we're gonna do yet and for right now i mean it's just part of life and growing up and you know you can't live with your parents 20 like all your life and at some point you have to make your own family and you know if you have to move states or move or whatever you, that's your decision i mean your parents can't stop you obviously but yeah now i'm gonna fix my hair oh actually i actually already straightened my hair but since i have had like a little clip in it um the, yo creo que se puso así como wavy or something así que me lo voy a acomodar get ready every day but when i do get ready like i used to do like colorful eyeshadow and the whole shebang no ma'am no ma'am alina said no mom either you gonna wear whatever you can do or you're not wearing anything so if your mom props to you for getting ready and doing the damn thing going to work being a mom is a 24 7 job right but if you work like i could not imagine freaking being so tired and having to get up period queen go off Alright guys, so I finally finished. I just fixed my hair and strained it. So this is the finished look. Thanks so much for watching this video. I've got to go because I have a crying almost four month old over there. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please comment down below what else you want me to film or what else you want to watch. And I'll try and have it ready for you. Bye guys. Thanks.